Well, welcome back. Somebody wanted to have a fuller tutorial guide walkthrough video on the Audacity AI music generation. So there's a link in the description to the finished video. Um, it'll be the video before this one, most likely, and it'll have a link to this video. So if you just came from that one, welcome, welcome. We're going to show you how to make that. So it's actually really easy using the latest AI put all together uh, as long as you've got an idea of what you want to do so I took a simple concept you know the old Nintendo 64 GoldenEye pause music I've taken that and this a cool funk track into World Rapture okay it's it's only a little bit popular with 17 million views so it's recognizable you probably heard it I won't play it for copyright but uh, you know, I'm probably going to get flagged anyway, because basically the first 20 seconds don't get transformed much. But if I was really doing this to, like, be commercial, I would probably be using my own tracks for a start. Yeah. So everything I'm going to do here is you can apply to your own tracks. So if you've got YouTube links for your own music, this works. So let's just move on right then. So first things first, we go to rave.dj, we go to create, and we put in the links for the two YouTubes that we want. Keep them under four minutes, about four minutes. I find th between three and four minutes is the best length. It won't take things over five, but you want to you wanna have a good ear. So you want to have a DJ's ear for this. So you want it to kind of match up. So, you know, you know if it's a fast tune, try to go for half BPM. Or, or to match it up with a faster tune, or match them, all right? You'd be surprised what you can get away with. I've put country western in with dance, and it, sometimes it works, right? So, so anyway, you make this, create mashup. When it's finished, it'll give you an MP4. So then what I do is I split out the MP3 and take it into Audacity. Let's open Audacity up, and I'll show you what I did. If you don't know what I'm doing, I've already covered this in a previous video showing step by step. But essentially, this is the latest Audacity. You'll know it is because you'll be able to see things like music separation, style remix. You will have that from the tutorial where I showed you how to install all of that stuff. Okay, so first we have our solo of the actual remix. I'll play it from here because I won't get done for cop. No, I won't. So this has been trans transmuted. Okay, no, this is the mix. All right. So this is the mix of the two tunes. So now, this is just the drums. So we're doing exactly what we did last time. We keep the drums from the original, and maybe we keep. No, we keep the the, the bells. This has got the golden eye hook and it's got a little bit of the so that's okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this into violin and then we're going to transfer the entire original track into hard house. So it won't give us hard house, it'll give us more like classic house, but that's okay. I think it's like learning which words it's going to hook into. So obviously, we keep the vocals. Um, so here's the actual remix prompt hard house. I forgot to set a seed. So I could have made, done this a bit better. So here it is. When it gets to the middle, this is a very original variation with the same structure. All new musical instruments. It's really cool. You can really explore different rhythms with this, which is like mutating. It's a mutation of style almost. I think once you learn what the prompts are, and you can practice with like a little snippet, Anyway, I probably I don't want to talk over the music too much. So here we have another set of drums. This one's been split out from the other track. Uh, I don't remember. I don't think I kept any of these, so we're going to move on. But it's another option. You know, you can split out the generation and then keep the drums from the original and the mutation and then do a different mutation on the bass line. So you can get really complicated with this. Anyway. I've ended up doing funk violin on the uh, on the other on on the bells. It's come out real nice. I'll just shut up for a minute.
All right, and that's that's the setup. So once you've done that, you end up exporting a bunch of files. So for me, what I had was um, my remixed prompt, the vocals from the original, the instruments from the original, and the drums from the original. Now, obviously, we've done some we've done some stuff to these as well. When you put it all together, this at uh, low volume, that even lower, that even lower. Then we put the violin, and so we put these two together, the strongest. And then we go into FL Studio. Do you like FL Studio? I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's been around for a long time. So I don't want to overload you guys with stuff here. So let me just move this up a bit so you can see it. So if I go to, let's take it from, let's take it from like here, which is the violin. So there's your violin, there's your drums, there's the other instruments, there's the vocals, and then there's the transform track. And all I've done is I've got the side chain hooked up from the drums, which is a bit weird because normally you'd use the bass line, but I, 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 I'm working with a dance track, so it's nice to have it dip a little bit. I'm using vinyl, which I think is a free plugin. On 1970, a couple of things like that. There's a few limiters and things. What else have I got going on? Limiter, parametric EQs. There's a bit crusher on. What's this? Uh, there's a bit crusher on the bass line. Um, and what else? Do -do 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 -do. There's a vocal doubler on the vocals which you can't even hear anymore. It's like a little sample, like a radio sample. So I've done EQ on that as well. That's about it. And then what I did to make the video, I just chucked in the Z game editor and just went through the wizard and had it make me this. So then that's how that was done. So it's all done. Do you know what I mean? But I just, oh, no, it's not. There's one more thing. This is still only three minutes long. So... I don't know whether you can use Adobe Premiere for free because I pay for it. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a similar tool like it because when you go into Adobe Premiere, right, basically if I just get um, a WAV file like or an MP3, if I just get an MP3 and bring it in, there's a tool here called the remix tool and you just drag it out and it does analysis with their AI and just figures it out it finds the beat segments it and remixes it now I think there is a way somewhere I couldn't find the options earlier but you see how it's basically done loads of stuff here like you can see these are all cuts in the video, you'll see a glitch effect. Um, let me see if I can show you it real quick. So, this first one? so basically, when whenever you see a glitch effect on the video, like here, that's a patch it's where it where the AI extended the length of the track for me. And obviously, you could just export this and have it as a backing track, turn it down real quiet, talk over it on a podcast, use it for an animation. Um, obviously, you can take any video on YouTube for inspiration. I would always recommend making your own stuff because this is the power. Of, this is the power, you know, you're able to do. But hey, man, we're all having fun here. So there it is. That's how it was made. I tried to keep the time down. I'm sorry if I waffled on a bit. But uh, as promised, there it is. So what's the next challenge? <laughs> See you in the next one.